What I'm wearing are no ordinary pair of swimming goggles. They're actually one of the most advanced AR systems on Earth. They have a tiny computer that uses machine learning and multiple sensors to understand all of your movements and track all of your stats. It's even capable of being your personal swim coach using AI to give you live feedback while you're swimming. But can a $300 pair of swimming goggles change the way that we see the world? We're building the future of human computer interaction in sports. Artificial intelligence and augmented reality are fundamentally changing how humans interact with computers. This is an example of AI working in perfect harmony with humans. Our product is focused in swimming, but this technology really extends beyond swimming to sports and health and everyday life. That's pretty impressive. Our goal is to amplify human capabilities by giving people superpowers without making them feel that they're using technology at all. Damn. Imagine AI coaching you in real time, machine learning anticipating exactly what you need to improve, and augmented reality showing that information to you when you most need it. We built that. We believe swimmers should have access to the same intelligence that only elite swimmers had before. So can a swimming obsessed entrepreneur change the way that humans interact with AI? And can augmented reality really enhance human ability without anyone noticing? Keep watching to see the impressive tech powering the system and how it will impact your daily life. This is Hardware Nation. I'm Dan Eisnott, I'm the founder and CEO of Form. I've been swimming since I was six years old. I've competed for 14 years, and I actually come from a family of swimmers dating back to my granddad. My father was a swimmer, my uncles were swimmers, my brother was a swimmer. To me, swimming is more than just a sport. It's a deep connection to my family. It's a bit like meditation. It keeps me centered and grounded and gives me lots of purpose. In 2006, I was in business school and I pitched this idea. What if you could put a computer and a display inside a pair of swimming goggles? And this was before the iPhone was even launched. The technology at the time, it just wasn't ready. So we pivoted to ski goggles. Recon was smart goggles for skiing. And we actually managed to launch those goggles in the winter of 2010. But our ambition was to be able to extend this beyond sports. At Recon, we built five generations of smart eyewear for skiing and cycling, and eventually sold the company to Intel. We were shocked that Intel would want to buy Recon, a company that made heads-up displays for skiing and for cycling. But what we realized was that this was a paradigm shift and a completely new interface, a new way for humans to actually consume information on the move, hands-free, without overwhelming you, distracting you from what you're doing. When we sold the company to Intel, the evening of, I was actually thinking about how I could bring all of this back to the original idea. I never forgot about swimming. I was awake most of the night just drawing out this product. My wife was like, you're insane. But an entrepreneur, it's not about selling the company, it's actually about creating something new and being part of something exciting. What am I looking at here? So this is our flagship product, the Smart Swim 2 Pros. The goggles do three things, activity tracking, guided workouts, and technique coaching. And it's wearable technology that's uh, race legal. It feels very durable. It feels, feels like a tank, a premium product for sure. Do you want me to show the very first prototype? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is so ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but in the very early days, we had to prove out a lot of stuff. An important thing is drag. I went to the pool and swam and I was really testing whether I could make the goggles come off my face. And after a few workouts, I realized that, you know, even worst case, we could pull this off. That was one of the most important priorities in the design of the goggles, that we made the tech as small as possible and not like lab equipment. What was driving me was just the idea that it is possible to show accurate swim metrics underwater inside a pair of goggles while you're swimming. And as a swimmer, having swum since I was six years old, this is a dream come true. Woo workout's feeling great. 
hands-free is kind of the key here, right? Well, the thing about swimming is there's no alternatives to get real-time data. AR is great because it mixes reality with whatever you're trying to show on the display. So with this display inside the goggles, now you can get that visual feedback while you're swimming. So the data finds you instead of you having to go look for the data when it's very inconvenient. I think it's important as an entrepreneur that you are deeply passionate and connected to your vision. So having swum since I was six years old, been part of teams developing augmented reality products for sports in other applications. But having done that before, having those scars on my back, it really helped me through those dark hours when you got bad news from the testing teams or your manufacturer. When we launched COVID hit just six months after launching the product and suddenly pools were closed, you know, what do you do? So that's just the journey, I think, of an entrepreneur. You need to have that grit and be able to pick yourself up from the floor and remember why you're doing what you're doing. So we use machine learning to classify your movements in the water and we use AI to correct your bad habits. The features and all sound great, but I'm still trying to fathom the fact that I can just see something in the water. It just sounds too good to be true. Of course, it works underwater. It kind of has to, otherwise you'd be in trouble. <laughs> so about five months into this proof of concept, we got a shock and we thought we had to pack it up and go home. When we put it underwater, the display was sort of ghosting. We could see multiple images. The solution was to ultrasonically weld micron thin air pocket on each side of the waveguide. So that when the light was bouncing inside the waveguide, it wasn't hitting water behind it, it was hitting air behind it. The image suddenly underwater looked exactly like it would out of the water. The light from that display reflects 50% of the light from the display and 50% of the light from the surroundings. So that's how you get this immersive feeling of these metrics just floating out in front of you. Let me just try this out. It almost like kisses your face in a way. We spent years actually solving this problem of making sure that the goggles were comfortable to wear and they didn't leak. It's like a Ferris wheel. With this device, we can simulate years of swimming in just a matter of weeks. Wow. This runs for one hour. Okay. And then when it's run for one hour, then the bicycle wheel lifts up. And that's because if you want to test water, resistance, then you have to have cycles of being in and out of water. Everything from hardware to software had to be custom built for this product to work. We're enhancing your goggles. We're giving you a second screen that gives you immediate feedback about what you're doing and helps you improve, really unlocking your potential. All right, we're gonna get in the water. Uh, first, put on the goggles. We wanna have it underneath the swim cap. Okay, so you have the heart rate sensor sitting inside the goggle strap retainer here. And when you put the goggles on, that sensor basically sits up against your temples. And that's how you measure the heart rate. We get to put the caps on? We get to put the caps on. Can't mess up this hair, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Big advantage, let's go. Woo. All right, so how do these things work, Dan? So the goggles do automatic tracking. So they start when you do. You want to go first? I'll follow you. You're the leader. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the app is something you access before and after the swim. In the pool, of course, you can't bring your smartphone. So before you swim, you're looking at what workout do I want to follow today? And that workout will automatically pop up in your profile. You can download that workout to your goggles and then in the water you can swim the workout. After you get out of the water, the swim is automatically synced to your app and you can view all the details, length by length, set by set, interval by interval. And you can see what your top priority is to work on from a technique perspective so that you can improve. It was incredible. As soon as I started swimming, it just felt very natural to me. That's great because what we designed this experience, we focused on making sure that you could still enjoy being in the water, enjoying the workout, and letting the tech get out of the way. For too many years, we've been obsessed with software. Software is super important, but it has to run on hardware. Somebody has to build the hardware. And when you have a new category, someone has to take the risk to build that new piece of hardware. How'd you get such a tiny battery to be able to do 14 hours. You have to think about making your computer extremely efficient. It's the process is only running when you need it to run. How does the machine learning part of this work? You have to be able to detect movement in the water automatically. So that's the foundational building block for the entire product. 
One of the biggest problems that we had was we couldn't fit all the firmware onto the chip because there just wasn't enough storage. And, and so we had to get smart about compressing the algorithms and being more efficient with storage. We had many, many sessions where we were recording swimmers doing freestyle, breaststroke, butterfly, backstroke, and then we used that video and we paired it with the sensor output. Then you can teach machine learning algorithm. After several years, then you have a model that you can then start testing uh, in the wild. This is an example of AI working in perfect harmony with humans. We collect all this data from the sensors inside the goggles for hundreds of thousands of swimmers around the world. And all of that data is very hard to make sense of if you don't have AI. Every athlete's mistakes, improvements, breakthroughs captured in the data. So we build this collective intelligence about human performance that makes everyone better. Woo! One upset complete. Okay, so to test the heart rate sensor, we have this stress test because it's a flex circuit that runs from the computer now to the sensor. This runs for days and weeks and months. This is how we make sure that, that it's durable. We were right back in 2006 to not push for this product back then because without machine learning, we wouldn't have been able to detect all these different complex movements in the water with high accuracy. We've really put this through the ring and we've accounted for every possible circumstance. We have Gorilla Glass, so you have scratch resistance and impact resistance, which allows you to apply anti-fog over and over again without deteriorating the coating that you would normally see on a pair of swimming goggles. This is the hammer, as you can see. Don't go soft on it. Damn. Eventually, if it shatters, you have the polycarbonate sheet that's bonded in between the gorilla glass. And this is how we make sure that it's durable. That's pretty impressive, Dan. Uh, I think I'm going to wear these ones for my next underwater fight, if that's okay. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> the next thing we need to do is to scratch test. There's sandpaper actually underneath the cylinder, and there's a weight on the top here. This is one of the many tests that we do for Scratch. The funny thing about being an entrepreneur is that you are so focused on making something work, it's hard to even imagine that something's going to fail. It was very important for me, as uh, a very passionate, lifelong swimmer, that I could put my name to it, that I wanted to swim with this, and that I could be proud of what we built. We don't just uh, create experiences for the pool, we actually also have experiences for the open water. And so if you're a triathlete or an open water swimmer, typically what you'll be doing, you'll be zigzagging between the buoys. And that's just because it's very difficult to swim in a straight line. But with Swim Straight, it'll keep you swimming in a straight line. Athletes are swimming two to 300 meters too much because they're actually zigzagging. But with our technology, you can go straight. The current human computer interaction is distracting. It's taking us away from the moment. It's not giving us the information we need when we need it the most. It's keeping us away from fulfilling our potential. We pull our phones out of our pockets 100 times a day. We're bombarded with information from everywhere. We need a different interface. The future is seamless integration between human and computer. On the move, hands-free, without distractions. It's AI that understands context and AR that gives you the information you need when you need it the most. The future is technology that makes you more present in your life, not less present. I think one of the incredible things about the goggles is you're not just getting real-time feedback, you're also getting post-swim data as well. A lot of our customers love is they get out of the pool, the goggles automatically sync to the app, and then you go on the app and you can get all your details of your activity. We have a form score which tells you how well you've done. You can use it to compete against yourself. So that's this positive reinforcement that we're trying to create and instill in the product experience. Right now, we're in the early days of this transformation. We see this technology coming to every sport, every profession, surgery, education. The potential is staggering. We're talking about a world where every human has access to superhuman capabilities. We're innovating in swimming, but this is not just the future of sports. This is the future of human evolution. The mission hasn't changed. We're breaking down the barriers between what swimming is and what it could be, and proving that human computer interaction is possible. The only thing that's changed now is the tools that we have, and we're just getting started. 
For hundreds of years, swimmers have been stuck doing math after laps, guessing their splits, and training blind. These aren't just hardware or tech, or even another pair of swimming goggles. They're proving that we're living through a fundamental shift where humans and machines work together. That the future isn't about escaping the virtual world, it's about embracing our connection to the real one.